Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com and this is a special surgeon question and answer session all about transcatheter aortic valve replacement and stroke risk. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Kendra Grubb, who is the surgical director of the Emory Structural Heart and Valve Center at Emory Healthcare in Atlanta, Georgia. During her extraordinary career, Dr. Grubb has performed over a thousand cardiac surgeries and more than a thousand TAVRs. Dr. Grubb, it is great to see you again and thanks so much for being with me today. Thank you. Dr. Grubb, we've been having an ongoing conversation at heartvalvesurgery.com about stroke risk and TAVR. I'm real curious, you do a lot of TAVR. I think you're gonna do three TAVR procedures today. Can you give our community an update about the stroke rate for patients undergoing TAVR? Sure. The stroke rate has been pretty stable for a number of years. Uh, initially, there was a higher stroke rate with TAVR than with surgery, but that's not true anymore. The rate of stroke is about 2 to 3%, and it has been for a really long time. With modern devices and modern techniques, that rate is probably closer to 2 we do have cerebral protection devices or brain protection devices that put little baskets in the arteries that go to the brain. Um, and those uh, trials have shown that it decreases the rates of disabling strokes. So the ones that count, um, but overall strokes are about the same, about 2%. So your advice for patients who are concerned about stroke during TAVR is what? Well, the data right now does not necessarily support the use of embolic protection devices. There are newer devices in trial that may show a bigger difference. And even the device that's commercially available, the Sentinel cerebral protection device, there is some data to say that it's worth doing. So my advice to patients is have the conversation with your doctor, understand the data, understand if you think that this is something that will benefit you. Your doctor will look at your CT scan and they will be able to tell you if they think that you're higher risk for having a stroke uh, and then make the decision and share decision-making with the team that's taking care of you. Dr. Grubb, that is really important advice. And on behalf of all the patients at heartvalvesurgery.com, patients all over the world, thanks so much to you and your team for everything you're doing for the treatment of aortic stenosis with Taver. Thank you.